Dr. Colin Fenn lives at Duramanar near Bathurst. With a background in building design and construction, he is now a full-time practicing artist. For Insight Out 2007, Colin is using this old horse-drawn earth scarifier used to break up the soil before planting as a starting point for a new work of art. Because the botanical gardens at Orange were, or where their location is now, that was a farm at one stage. So I'm sure somewhere in its past it had the sounds of horse-drawn vehicles and horse-drawn equipment and all those those sounds that have now disappeared. From that we've, we're going to create a sound sculpture. I've modified it slightly by putting a box on here and that'll take the sound equipment. John Jablonskis lives at Eglinton on the outskirts of Bathurst. A welder and plastic fabricator by trade, he took up sculpture in middle age, taking inspiration from the classical sculptors. I like doing things that represent things you can see. Abstract art's a little bit beyond me, so in this situation, something for the gardens was, was a, um, they say, they say, with a bird in the hand, they say, you don't need what you haven't got. A bird in the hand is what you have got. The sculpture class in the old TAFE building in Bathurst's William Street is hard at work on its installation for Insight Out. With just days to go, there's still a lot of work to do. They're, they're cutting it quite fine and we're, we're here today um, working back. Hopefully, um, hopefully they will, but they're, they're looking good. Uh, we're going to work on them um, on site to do the final finishing touches. Steady at the end is firm. Slowly. We use germination and cross-pollination showing up because the botanical gardens are there are so many different species in there and so we put them all together into three perfect hybrid trees to show humanity's containment of nature. Yeah. Great. Okay. The way that it flares out, we had to catch it on it. Five artists from all around the Central West have converged at Amanda Hammond's house in Orange to prepare a collaborative piece for Insight Out. The artists are recreating a room in a colonial farmhouse using shards collected from the old Orange dump. Each artist has taken on one aspect of the house. Gillian Trudgeon is putting together a floor using cement pavers moulded in pizza boxes. I was um, using pizza boxes because they're just the ideal size for, um, for pavings. The actual patterns we made out of the, um, the shards and whatever I can find that's interesting will make up a nice pattern. We always cover up everything in society. We're busy covering up um, ourselves and we every time we went to a new land particularly we covered up the native people and anything that's slightly offensive we cover it up so I thought what about all those rude trees out there that we've got you know that look um, almost human and I thought to myself well what if we designed tr dresses for trees I thought about what a tree might like to wear and what they might find interesting as a pattern if, if they had a choice and so this this pattern here is on fire and so it's uh, a fire dress and it has the fire raging through the forest. I found a piece of industrial waste which rather appealed to me because it had a pattern of birds on it. But the nice thing about it, it had this strange word down here called other. And this one here is a water dress. So it's got the flow of the water across the land. So they'll actually wrap around the tree a bit like that. <laughs> In the studio at Boronor near Orange, Ros Ald is constructing a series of tablets in clay. Well, what I have is a, um, a contrast of two things. It's the man-made element and nature. So it's the concrete as opposed to the ephemeral. So I've made sort of like ancient clay tablets that have the impression of a plant. They're sort of like fossils. Um, it's after the plant's gone and the impression is still there. 
and on the back on the back side of it is text relating to the family name and the plant details and so on. Come out with me and I'll So I've got two things happening here. One is just a little mat that I'm going to weave out of that little bottle brush there and that will just swing underneath the slab. And this one here is more like a sort of a, a ladder or a woven um, structure. 